Next film festival, and this was a room last night. I came in, I saw lights on the bed and some images, and you know, didn't see much else happening. I heard some voices or some conversation. Why don't you tell me what, what is all this about? The, what, what is your name and what is your concept here? My name is Dan Johnson. I'm Sarah Mira Del Rio. And uh, let me see you show me your, your name. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we don't have to worry about spelling. <laughs> right? Yeah. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> You're definitely official. <laughs> so now, what what is happening here? So there is a uh, a camera and a projector in the ceiling. Right. And uh, there's a computer between the camera and the projector that creates a five minute delay. Uh huh. So what happens on the bed appears on the bed as a bit projected video five minutes. Oh, so that voice we're hearing now is a disembodied voice from five minutes ago? No, the the, the, vo the voices are um, the texts that Spur selected that, um, that are sort of about intimacy between strangers. And that's kind of what we um, created this installation to do, is to create a place where strangers um, could be intimate. With an open door and, and a lighted room, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I saw some intimacy last night with a supposed to insanity, but it, I mean, it wasn't sexual, but it was, it was, it was everything but. I mean, it was, uh, it was certainly graphic and gesticular, you know, or whatever you want to say. Okay, so now that image there, that was something. Is that who is that? Is that you earlier? Yeah, that's me. Just me. Ago. Wow. Well, you said it was a five minute delay, but that looks. Oh! <laughs> well, you've been here. Oh. So well, you've been hanging out here, huh? <laughs> How come you. Why don't you have that explain? I mean, someone told me I could read the program because I, I, I have such trouble just reading the film descriptions and signing what I'm going to see between rushing to bed, getting up to get back here and film some more. So, what kind of things have you seen go on in here? I mean, have you seen. Uh, well, the, I mean, one of the one of the great things about this festival is that um, is that it does like make people really comfortable, feel really comfortable, and they make new friends. And, you know, me. You know, and you've been here. You've seen them make friends here in this room. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I've seen. I, you know, I've seen like like couples and like you know just like you know people just like because uh, the, the parties go on and the, the people. Want but don't they kind of suddenly freak out realizing that their image from a few Two moments ago is no, actually, people. Um, You're sitting on your own face right now. You know, <laughs> <laughs> people seem to really, really enjoy it. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, people really like to see their own image, and they like to be able to participate in it and create, help to participate in creating this piece. Uh huh. Um, and it's been really well received. So we're actually really grateful for how um, how enthusiastic people have been uh -huh. about the piece. Do people are, uh, do people figure it out, or they read the program? Or they just stumble into yeah, it, or what? Figure it out. People figure it out pretty quickly. No, really? because it, it puzzled me until I finally had it explained to me. But I'm an, I'm an Emma Simpleton. I mean, who would think that that was you just a few minutes ago? Well, but um, we um, we're also on here. We've been here every day, and we committed to being here every day. Kind of navigate the things and and, it, and so the tape, though it's made, you said it's a continuous loop. Yes. Now, does that mean that you don't have any permanent record? I mean, it was this sort of like video surveillance? In other words, at the end of the installation, will you have eight hours of how people interacted and what went on in this room? Well, the piece is running continuously for the whole week, but we're not recording it. There's no permanent record. We are well, it's a it delay, on. though. It's being recorded and projected here a few minutes later. So, so, this, the, so only only those five minutes are kept in the computer at any given moment. Uh, otherwise, turn it off. Those five minutes are gone. Right. Oh, really? You don't even save the last five minutes? No. Don't you sometimes want to come in and shut it off and save what just happened? <laughs> well, maybe, I mean, maybe that would be something we can do. Yeah, Some is just like, you know. I think it would be a very interesting psychological study. I mean, I could ask, how would strangers, I mean, because it, 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 it is an intimate environment, but it
kids in a semi-public, I mean, we're here in an installation at a queer experimental film festival. You can see, you can see several iterations of that happening at once, because what's in that being protected is also being re-recorded on the record. So you're seeing several layers of time. Oh, several layers. Yeah, so there, here are my hands. Uh-huh. Here are my hands again. Right. And there, there's Sparrow, and there's Sparrow. So how many, so one image projects on top of the other? Exactly. And, but in five, in five minutes it all disappears bit by bit? Right, exactly. It doesn't just all go blank. It, like, you, like over time, though, it just, right, it just keeps, it just keeps adding more and more and more until you can't see anything. I see, because see, that's what I saw when I came in here. I saw the images of people that had been here earlier and it didn't make sense here. They were at the edges. They weren't laying on the bed. Right, it rotates. It moves because there's an angle between the camera. Where is the camera? The camera is right there. Right oh, there. really? Right above? Oh. Hidden camera. Hidden camera. Hidden camera. Yes, hidden camera. <laughs> queer, mixed queer, experience. New York experimental, queer experimental film festival, hidden camera. Sounds like a great movie to me. I think you really got a gold mine here. Okay. Well, anyway, this has really been great. I want to thank you very much. Oh, no, thank you. You know, and uh, I'll, I'll, I have this in HD in 1080. So I'm going to probably have have to transfer it by filming it off the screen to put it on DV to put it up because I have three computers and my I don't know how to operate the line system and doesn't communicate with my 1080 film but I also am going to make originals of this tape and give it to the people at the festival as well so you'll be able to get the high quality if you know somebody that has uh, you know Final Cut Pro and all that type stuff and thank you very very much I really think you really should consider doing a project where you actually save the movie yeah maybe we should well, we were talking about recording, like giving people plenty of notice that we would be documenting. We wouldn't want to record people without their permission. Well, that's true. You do. But you know, if I've gone to Cinema Village over there on 23rd Street and you're waiting in line to go in, there's a little sign on the wall that says you may be recorded. That's what they do in, you know. But I'm saying it would still be, it still be a fascinating. Effect. You could, you could. I'm telling you, you could create an absolute amazing film. I, I think you're right. I think you're right. You know? Even having your friends just going, I mean, just have people say, we're doing this experiment, just see how people would interact. People don't even know each other, you know? Yeah. You know, men, women, old ladies, people in wheelchairs. <laughs> old ladies. Old ladies. Old ladies, especially old ladies. They're very hot at the office, you know. <laughs> I mean, what's her name? Uh, Alice? Uh, uh, well, the ones in 91. She was 91, uh, the one that the, uh, gosh, she's the last of the Golden Girls. Oh, uh, Betty White. Yes, Betty White. Just think, Betty White laying here. How people would come in. And what, what, I mean, on, I mean, she was on, on MTV. She said, um, uh, ladies and how, she said, I'm 91 and one third years old. <laughs> and that was nearly a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, and I will look forward to seeing your great hit movie in the near future.